must face that this is a war and we must fight it back or we will be killed. I think it's a really a, a racist country. So. They, they just want to be in France. The Front National are France's increasingly popular far-right party. They have big hopes of winning next month's presidential election. More and more, they're attracting young people too. We spent a week in northern France, those fighting for the FN and those who fear it. We've been invited out on a protest with the FN's youth division in Calais. They're supporting the presidential candidate, Marine Le Pen. Alors, le message est tout simple. Hein. Le, le message est très simple, c'est les, les jeunes avec Marine. Les jeunes avec Marine. Youth people with Marine. Et puis ça montre également qu'on brave le froid, la neige, la pluie, pour, euh, bah pour tenter de convaincre euh, les Français de, 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 de voter pour Marine. You can film in the car. Uh, most reactions are positive. I say that most reactions are very positive. Hi, I'm Christophe, I'm 26 and I'm the head of Front National Youth in Pas-de-Calais. Nos valeurs, protéger les Français de la mondialisation, du chômage et de l'immigration de masse. Christophe is part of a new generation of activists, all believing that the FN's future is now mainstream. Over the past few years, the FN's rebranded itself. They say they're no longer fascist or racist, but are realists who have diagnosed France's problem. They claim the party is for everyone now. Christophe has taken us to a school to spread the message. Bonjour. Un trait pour Marine Le Pen. Ah, euh. Mais euh, non, 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 Et elle a des préjugés bah, parce qu'elle a dû entendre un certain nombre de remarques sur nous euh, qui n'étaient pas forcément euh, justes, et notamment sur notre programme. Et je pense que cette fille-là n'a pas dû consulter le, notre programme sur le site internet. Euh, sinon, elle aurait bien vu que, évidemment, euh, on ne fait aucune discrimination entre les Français. Voilà. Bon week-end. Bon week-end. Bon week-end. On, on s'écarte un peu. Effectivement, il y a d'une part un effet de groupe. Ouais. C'est-à-dire que quand un manifeste son désaccord avec nos idées, bah à ce moment-là, la plupart de ses copains vont suivre. Mais surtout, là, je pense qu'avec la caméra, ça, ça contribue également. Ils n'ont ils, ils pas envie de se faire fumer en train de prendre l'attraction nationale, évidemment, parce que ça reste quand même un sujet tabou. Le... Hello, I'm Camille. I'm 22 years old. I'm a law student and I joined the Front National more than two years ago. Camille is one of the FN's rising stars in Lille. She's just been elected as head of the area's youth division. It's true that I don't present myself in front of people as being part of the Front National. I'm waiting to know them a little bit more. Et souvent, ils sont surpris parce que ça ne correspond, je ne correspond pas à l'image qu'ils se font du parti. Mais euh, ils n'acceptent tellement pas l'idée qu'ils préfèrent se dire que je suis une exception, que je suis... Non, mais toi, mais, mais non, t'es pas comme les autres. Euh, voilà. Voilà comment ça se passe. Camille is offered to show the area around her university. It's diverse, poor, and to her, it symbolizes what's broken in France. C'est pas une peur euh, d'agression permanente, c'est euh, plutôt euh, la peur de voir une transformation de, oui, de, 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 de notre territoire, de notre culture, de notre identité. But beyond this, what seems to really resonate with Camille is the FN's widely discredited claim that migrants get a better deal than white French people. De ce que je pense euh, de la façon dont sont traités des, des, les migrants, je trouve que c'est indécent par rapport, euh, par rapport aux, aux, aux Français, aux étudiants français. Et je fais partie de, de ces étudiants justement précaires, euh, où pour vous dire, euh, bah oui, j'ai un travail étudiant à côté. 
Donc euh, oui, et de voir que ces gens-là euh, sont logés, nourris, blanchis, et qu'en plus on leur donne de l'argent de poche, voilà, pour que moi et mes parents ne mettent pas, oui, je trouve ça indécent. Parce que eux ne, voilà, ne contribuent pas, clairement. Et, euh, et oui, je, je trouve ça indécent de, de passer après ces gens-là, oui. Say hello to Generation Identitaire, a group of extreme far-right activists. They like the Front National, but think they're a bit soft on Muslims. Their membership is in the hundreds, and their speciality is making slick videos as they storm public buildings and display provocative banners. Je m'appelle Aurélien Verassel, j'ai 33 ans, je suis le responsable de Génération Identitaire en Flandre, Artois et No. Nous sommes à la Citadelle, la maison de l'identité à Lille. Je défends euh, mon identité, ma culture et chrétienne Je lutte contre l'islamisation euh, de l'Europe. The Citadel is basically an alt-right, white power members club. It opened in September to voilà. mass protests. Bienvenue à la, à la Citadelle, qui est certes euh, un bar, mais c'est surtout une maison de l'identité. Nous n'avons aucun lien structurel avec le Front National. Le Front National est un parti électoraliste. Nous, nous sommes un aiguillon politique. Nous sommes ce que on nous appelle souvent le Greenpeace de la droite nationale. L'avantage de cette position, c'est que nous pouvons aller plus loin dans les idées que le Front National. Nous pouvons développer des concepts que ne pourraient pas développer. Le concept de la remigration, par exemple. Aurélien short on details of his remigration system. But it seems to boil down to incentivizing Muslims to leave France voluntarily. Pour être clair, l'islam en France et en Europe n'est pas la bienvenue. Nous n'avons rien contre intrinsèquement contre cette religion, mais que ceux que les musulmans aillent vivre leur religion en terre d'islam. When you speak to them about the election, you can feel the excitement. They clearly believe the FN and Marine Le Pen is their big chance. Je suis persuadé que Marine Le Pen va gagner. Car en fait, c'est le pouvoir qui l'appelle, tout simplement. Les Français euh, voteront pour elle, je suis persuadé qu'elle qu va gagner, et d'ailleurs, je ferai tout, et la génération unitaire fera tout, pour qu'elle accède au pouvoir. Everyone I'd spoken to so far had accused immigrants, and specifically Muslims, of failing to integrate, or to really embrace being French, we decided to head to Lille's largest Muslim neighbourhood. I wanted to find out what it felt like to be constantly told you don't belong. Hi everyone, I'm Mariam, I'm 25 years old. I am Muslim and uh, I think France is becoming a racist country. Mariam was born to immigrant parents in France. She's educated, works for a charity. She even supports the French football team. We don't have to hide. France is the biggest racist country in the in Europe because they they are making many laws against the hijab against the, mainly against the muslim so yeah it's uh, racist the front national is a extreme party racist so i don't have words it's a racist party who thinks that the france belongs to the white but it's not we used to uh, just to, to be friends, uh, no matter our religion. But now, uh, the first question, for example, when uh, we choose friends is, what's your nationality? What's, what are your nat nationality? Are you French? Are you Moroccan? Are you Algerian? Okay, it's, uh, but why it's, it is in, it's important? Hello, I'm Guillaume, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I think that the government have forgotten the people. Guillaume is a recent convert to the FN, joining two years ago. A pharmacist, he's swiftly risen through the ranks and is now the backup candidate for the San Quentin area. It's a rural and industrial place where the party have always done well. Migration is one key issue, despite the area being largely white. We could be killed right now, even though that's, the probability is extremely remote, but that could happen and that's horrible. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want to live in fear. On the contrary, I want people to be happy. Everyone, the Muslims, the Christians, those who do not belong, I don't care. The one thing that has become clear after meeting the FN 
is that their appeal is not just about Islamophobia or racism. It's about the loss of jobs, identity and hope. Guillaume wants to show me his hometown, an F in Heartland where unemployment is running high and there is little positive about the future. So we are going in the city or the village of Barvaitz where I live. It's a village of a hundred and a uh, 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 1,500 people. It's a small village, but it's not that small, as you can see. And it used to be a, a place where a lot of people uh, lived, uh, were working in the textile industry. So this place is an, a former factory of textile, textile factory. Uh, long ago, there used to be a lot of people who were working here. You would have come, I was not born, uh, you would have come 40 years ago, there would have been f a lot of people right here in the city, but look now, it's look like it's a, it's a dead place, and that's sad. And the village are dying, and uh, yes, that's what's appealing me, and I really think that what I'm doing is good for me. It's good for my family, for my friends, and for the people of France, and I, I do it for, for a better future, yes. What happens if that future doesn't come? Well, <laughs> you know, that I think that politicians are, most of them are here to give us hope. Uh, because I think that without hope, we, we would be drawing in, our, in sorrow. We, we need hope. The human mankind need hope. And to think of a, of a good future, a brighter future.